Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless, and we back with another one. And of course, we still got DJ Academics with the Kendrick Lamar countdown on us waiting for the diss track in response to the Drake full on, you know, one on one track that he dropped for Kendrick called Drop and Give Me 50. So, DJ Academics says day nine with no response from Kendrick Lamar yet. So, you know what I mean? But again, we gave Drake about a month to respond. So, we got to give Kendrick some time. Also, we have Kanye talking about the beef with Drake. And he gives us some insight about, you know, how and why everybody teamed up against Drake. And I feel like, of course, Metro Boomin, you know, was the mastermind behind this whole Drake takedown. And DJ Academics believes that this is just a hate crew that is just mad and they're just jealous of Drake. And DJ Academics says, it's wild how openly other rappers, with the exception of Ross, aren't even spelling out their problem with Drake. They're just openly saying, we're tired of this Negro winning. Let's click up and get rid of him. So, of course, we got Kanye. He was on an interview and he was talking about how he got called by Future to say, you know, I me, mean, we're going to team up to eliminate Drake. How did this even come about? Who called who? Uh, yeah, Pluto, Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we, um, you know, went through the, you know, the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans, called them out in London to get on a joint. And, you know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, we were not excited. We was energized. So let me know what you think in the comment box. I do think everyone does have, you know, certain grievances with Drake and certain problems with Drake. But I do think it's weak that they all got to team up at the same time. And it does make Drake look even bigger and stronger that you need 20 guys. You know, like Drake said, a 20 V1, you need 20 rappers to handle just one rapper. And I think all of these guys, they don't really want to go at Drake. They're just using this opportunity because they know that he has a real big fish to fry, which is Kendrick Lamar. So they're trying to get their jabs in, you know what I mean? It's like trying to jump somebody while they're in the middle of a fight because you know you can't fight them one-on-one. -on -one. But they could at least make it look less obvious and have different reasons why they don't like Drake. They can't just click up and say, man, I'm tired of this guy winning. So let's just go ahead and eliminate him from the rap game. And I don't even think dropping diss tracks on him is going to eliminate him. Even if Drake loses the beef with Kendrick Lamar, that's not going to eliminate him from the rap game. Drake is literally at a point where he's too big to fail, right? Even if Drake wasn't, you know, I mean, the best rapper, you know, lyrically, or he wasn't the the best singer in the world, but he was always the biggest. He was always, you know, one of the catchiest. And you know, I mean, it hasn't been a year that he has went without a hit song. Let me know what you think in the comment box. You know, what do y'all think about this coordinated effort to knock Drake off the top of the mountaintop? And I think just the reverse is going to happen. You just going to make him even more legendary by everybody, you know, hating on him like that. And it just makes everybody else look like haters, too. So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me like the video. Subscribe and we go.